Hi there friends, it's Tepache Loco here. I just wanted to put together a quick video to talk about how I've set up the Arsenal list for British Forces mod so that it's easy to take the Arsenal list from one faction and use it in another without having to update your mods every time you make a change. So to get into it, uh, let me just open up the inventory file and what you'll see is that it looks slightly different from the vanilla examples. So if I go in and open one of those up, let's see, NC Catalog US. Classically, the way they're set up is you have this sort of list of entries. So you have weapons, and then you have a list of all of the weapons in the single config file. You've got all of the ammo, you've got all of the attachments, and so on and so forth. In this one, you can see it looks slightly different because we're referring to separate config files. So if you open these up, they look the same. But then what's happening here is there is a separate file that has all of those entries in them, like so. If I click on it, it opens up, and then you can see all of the weapons listed here in a totally separate file. Now, why do we do this? We do this because I have a separate mod that sits on top of British Forces mod called British Forces mod in US Arsenal crate. So British Forces mod uses its own custom faction, which is lovely in terms of, you know, it feels nice and well organized when you're in Game Master, and it lets you only pick off the British stuff if you want to have an experience around that. And in the future, it'll allow us to do things like having a UK faction when we do our conflict mission. But there is a disadvantage, which is some people, um, for a variety of reasons, want to have the content of British Forces mod available to the US Army faction. So. A good example of this is if you run a server that has a conflict mission, we don't have a UK version of the conflict mission yet, but you want to have all the gear. Um, we needed to have a way to put all the stuff from our mod into, into there. So what we used to do, or what I used to do, honestly, is every time um, there would be an update, you know, say, for example, I add the MP5, I would have a separate mod called British Forces content in US Arsenal, and I would have to go into that mod and publish an update where I add rifle.mp5 to the inventory list for that mod for the US Arsenal, which was a bit annoying, and sometimes we forgot to do it, and sometimes stuff was missing, so needless to say, it was not, not a great setup. Um, now, at this point, I should make a big shout out to Cyborg Matt, um, who's part of the WCS community. Um, he's really helped us out a few times, actually, honestly, um, and had sort of ways to help us improve our mods. So big thanks to him for this one. Um, but basically, we have this system, like you can see, where we have these separate com uh, config files. And then if I open up um, the British forces in US Arsenal mod, uh, let's hop in here. Here we go, British forces in US Arsenal. What you'll see this mod is now is all it's got in it is the config file for the US uh, Arsenal, like a like an overwrite. And if you go in there, it is the existing normal US Arsenal list. We haven't added anything, but then we just added on those config files to the end of it. So if in our other mod, we've added the MP5, this mod just looks at that config file and says, hey, look, the MP5's here. And it's in there and I don't have to update it, which is wonderful. So how do we go about setting this up? So I'll go back to British Forces mod again, and I'll show you an example. So let's say we want to create, uh, we want to do this, and we want to start with the weapons, for example, since we're talking about them. So I will go into the entity catalog folder for the UK, and I might already have an arsenal list. That's fine, you can do what you like. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to make a new config file. So you go in here and click config file and you might call it my faction inventory items weapons for example and then you need to go about adding the right file type for this config now unfortunately for some reason it doesn't exist in this list so what you can see here is scr entity catalog multi list what we actually need is scr underscore entity catalog multi list entry so the easiest way to do this is create your new file and you'll open it up and you'll see it's not the right kind, right? So if you compare how this looks with uh, this one, it's got a bit more stuff in it and it won't work properly. You can't bring this into your inventory items config. So what we need to do is we need to go to this in Explorer and open it up. 
Um, I'm using Sublime Text, but if you had like just a normal text editor, you can do what you like. And all we need to do is need to change the name of this from SCR Entity Catalog Multilist to SCR Entity Catalog Multilist Entry and save it and then close it. And then we don't even need to re-import it. All we need to do is open it up again. And now you can see it is the right kind and it's all set up. So what do we need to have in here? An identifier is basically what you see as the name of this thing in this list. So you can have my factions weapons list and save that. And then entries is exactly the same entries as you would have in your normal config. So again, if we open up the US example here, See, doing my best to show that I don't know how to use and navigate these tools. We go in here, entity item, entity catalog and entry items. Basically, it's exactly the same as these. So you can go in here and you can make, you know, add uh, an inventory item. Make sure you select the right one. We had, had to go and do a lot of backfilling because we kept on filling using the top one on this list. And then let's pick out our prefab that we want to use, the MP5SD, for example. And then we have to fill out the rest of it as well. We need our Arsenal data list. Honestly, though, if you already have an existing list, you can actually copy a whole entry from here and you can just paste it in. Everything comes over just fine. So we've made our little config file. You can make as many of these as you want. You can. One thing that's quite easy and quick to do is you can duplicate existing ones and just change over the prefabs. So we can do that quite quickly. Go through the whole list. And then when we want to add it to our inventory items config file all we need to do is add an extra item under multi lists and then we copy this in or drag it in so let's navigate to where that's located let's open uk inventory items and then we just drag it onto here and that's it so that's now in our you know that's how we set up our existing faction uh, config list and then You've done all that, and then you say, okay, now I want to add it to one of the vanilla factions. So I also want to add it in a separate mod to the FIA list or the USSR list or the US list or whatever. All you need to do then is go into one of those vanilla lists. So let's say you want to add your factions content to the USSR inventory. So you do an override of the inventory items entity catalog you open it up and then all you need to do is add that config file to the end of your list. So you put that in there. It's fine that there's like now multiple lists that are to do with weapons. The game's smart enough to figure that out for you. And that's all you have to do. So you do that for all of your extra pieces you want to add. And then whenever you make any updates, you know, add extra content to the game, extra weapons, all you need to do is add them to this config file and then they'll be updated in your faction. Uh, inventory and available in the arsenal for the uk faction but also available in the arsenal for the the soviet faction as well so there you go i hope this helps out um, i'm looking to potentially make a few more videos like this just to walk through sort of more esoteric or sort of more difficult parts of the modding process that aren't necessarily just the basics um, especially sort of trying to look at how to get all of the latest stuff that some of these new experimental patches are bringing in um, if you think this is useful if you like what i'm what i'm saying you know feel free to subscribe and like the video and share it to other creators who might find it helpful um, but if not i hope this has been helpful for you i'm looking forward to see what you can add to the game uh, so thank you very much and i'll see you next time